Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a conscious haul. Um, so I went shopping, and this kind of took me a while. I've been doing a lot of research into shopping just more consciously, so more ethical and more sustainable. Everything here is ethical. Not everything is sustainable, but work in progress. I really want you guys to leave your favorite ethical and sustainable clothing companies down below so I can take a look at them and then the next haul I can add more brands in. So ethical is just the treatment of humans and then sustainable is just the treatment of earth. So uh, clothes that aren't putting more junk into the earth and just, you know, are conscious about what they're doing to the environment while they're making clothing. If you want to kind of get more information and actually have a real sort of understanding, uh, there's a great documentary called The True Cost, and there's also um, two apps that I wanted to talk about, Project Just and Good On You, which are two, one's an app, one's a website, and if you're unsure of a brand, you can search the brand and it'll kind of give you um, some information on them. I, with any research, you need to find more than one source, so definitely don't just take what you see at face value, definitely do your own research. Um, but this is kind of what I've done and where I'm starting out. The first uh, store that I wanna talk about is a store called Exhibit. This is a store from Singapore. I think everything's made in Singapore. Um, it's a small herb boutique. I really like their stuff. I found it on one of those. I was just searching ethical and sustainable clothing and I came across this store. I bought these green uh, cargo, no, they're not like, like military cargo sort of pants. They're uh, wide leg, I really like them. I have Instagrams and stuff in them. I've had them for a long time, a couple months now. The only thing is with this brand is that I'm 5'6 and um, everything's a little too short. I wanted to be able to wear these with like heels and for them to be like a wide leg pant, but I can't. Um, and that's obviously because I'm guessing their normal demographic is people from Singapore and their average height is just shorter than me. <laughs> um, so. That's the only downside of these. Other than that, they're great quality. They fit beautifully um, and they're just a really nice material. I'm a huge fan of these pants and I definitely think you should check them out. They have really nice, um, it kind of reminds me of Mr. Self Portrait a little bit. The next brand that I want to talk about is Redone Denim. This is a pricier brand, but this is both ethical and sustainable. So Redone uh, Denim Upcycles Vintage. These right here are the Redone Cindy Crawford, the Crawford jeans. Um, they're a, kind of a mid-rise, they have the button fly and they're a straight leg. I got them in the light blue color. Um, the thing with Redone though is that everything is different, like all sizes are different. Um, so you have to be wary of that when ordering. I got a 24 in the Crawford and I do find them a bit snug, but I think that they do stretch out, but they are a true jean material, that kind of stiffer denim, but I really like them and they're pretty flattering on the bum. From them, I also got this redone Hanes tee. It was like a collab, I think, or maybe they just do Hanes tees. Uh, redone, it's just a crop sort of t-shirt. Um, it's pretty nice, nice material, just a crop t-shirt. Um, and then I, I did get another pair of jeans from them. They haven't arrived yet, so I will link them or I'll do some footage of them if they do arrive, but they're just black, like grungy, a little bit baggier. But they have a ton of different styles. I'm actually kind of lusting after the flared cropped denim. Um, so hopefully something that I like comes back in stock and I can purchase those because I really like the upcy upcycled denim. Um, I just like the jean, I like the way they fit and it's ethical and sustainable. The next store I wanna talk about is Everlane. I feel like this is a huge one, doing great things for the ethical and sustainable community, fashion community. Um, we are really kind of using them as a uncle, my company uncle, we're really using them as a leader of what we want to do and kind of taking tips and points from them. First thing I want to talk about is this sweater that I'm wearing right now. This is a cashmere sweater and it was only $100, which if you, you know, you shop for cashmere, it's pretty expensive. So it's a pretty good deal. I got it in this camel color. It's nice and soft. It's really nice. Good quality. I bought this in the, um, at the, in the store in New York. They just opened up two stores, so I love this, very nice. And then I also got this tea. Um, this tea was only $16, ethical and sustainable tea. Um, hopefully, you know, one day uncle will be able to bring our prices down to $16 tea. Uh, but it's nice, soft, really pretty pink color, has a pocket, a good tea. Yeah, Everlane, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. They started with being, they're very transparent with where their stuff is made. Um, so that's really nice. Because I just spoke about Uncle, I am gonna talk about Uncle. We are also ethical um, and mostly sustainable. We are working towards being more sustainable than we already are. 
Um, I'm just gonna show you a few things from us. This is our feminist tee. So it has that stretch to it. Uh, this is a newer version because we're playing around with some fabrics. Um, this is the newer version. It has some stretch to it. It's really soft. This is in a bag because it is a sample, but this is our waffle dress. This is in the natural color. You'll love this because you can kind of dress it up. You can also dress it down. I like to wear it with Converse and just like socks and uh, a jacket. But I do, I really love this. I wore this all over Nice and it's kind of that material that you can wear um, in the spring, but also in the winter because it has that, that kind of nice versatile look to it. Um, but yeah, I'm in love with that. Also wanted to show you a hoodie. This is, it's in a package, so I'm not gonna unpackage it, but this is the White Uncle hoodie. It's the Michibatsu hoodie. Um, it has this beautiful like Japanese inspired print on the back. Really nice quality, made in Canada. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't checked out Uncle, check out Uncle, that's my clothing brand. We do basics for everyone. Okay, next I wanna talk about Reformation. Uh, Reformation is obviously a huge store now. They're also ethical and stable, very transparent with where things are made. They have a lot of great information on their website. So I got a few things from them. The first being these jeans. I actually went to the Reformation store in New York on Bond Street, which was such a cool experience. They have this like really futuristic retail experience going on. These are the black, I don't know what they're called, but they're just like a black kind of cropped jean. They have this detailing right here. That's like fringe. Um, they're super flattering. I got a size 24. And if it's pretty true to size, which I appreciate, again, that really thick sort of true denim, not a lot of stretch to them, but uh, they're really flattering and super comfortable and I really like the look of them. Before I bought those, I had gotten these and these are a pair of cords and they bought these in a 25 and they are a bit big. So I do know that I am a true 24 in Reformation. I definitely could have got a 24 in these, but these are cords, button fly, um, wide leg i love these they're very nice last thing i got from reformation is a jumpsuit i'm not gonna hold it up for you just because it's just like it's me showing it to you <laughs> it's just there's no point gold velvet jumpsuit i'm wearing this on new year's i'm super excited to wear it because it's just so beautiful reformation rigs makes like not really like trendier pieces whereas everling makes super basic pieces reformation has that corner so kind of trendier aspect to it. Their stuff is really nice, good quality. It is on the pricier side, but when you're paying for quality ethics and sustainable fabrics, you are gonna pay more. But the great thing about you know paying more for this is that it is stuff that's gonna last in your wardrobe for, for years, not just, it's not fast fashion. You're not gonna throw it away. You're gonna actually have it in your wardrobe for a long time. So think about that when you are looking at the prices that you know, these people are trying to pay people fair wages. They're trying to buy fabric that's good for the environment. They own their own factory. There's a lot that goes into it and they need to make a profit on top of that. So it is pricier, but honestly, it's worth it. Next thing I want to talk about is shopping vintage. So going to your local value village, your local Goodwill, your local thrift shop and picking up some items. This is a sweater that I wear all the time. Actually, a lot of you were asking about it. Um, this was picked up at a thrift store. It is a, I think it's a Neil Diamond sweater, right? My boyfriend just, kind of distressed it a little bit, but you can find great pieces at thrift stores. You can find vintage Levi's jeans, you can find sweaters, coat, they have everything. It's just people, clothes that people don't want anymore and they donate, but you can find any, anything from there and then you can kind of upcycle it to even make it your own. There's our girl on YouTube, Sarah Dunk. She's a pretty small YouTuber, but she does a lot of things around thrifting and upcycling. So check her out if you're interested in that. But thrifting is definitely a great way to be sustainable. The next thing is a luxury item um, and it isn't sustainable but it is ethical. It's an Acne Studios scarf. It's pink and red. I'm obsessed with this scarf. It's like a wooly material. I just I love the color combination. It's a really good quality scarf. I did look online. Acne does have a lot of um, things in place to oversee their factories to make sure people are getting fair wages and being treated well while making their clothing. I'm obsessed with this scarf. It's so nice. Just big and red and pink and you just wrap it around. It's so warm. But yeah, if you're into luxury, do you should know that uh, Aki does have things in place to be better for people. It's really cool. The last thing I have absolutely no idea if it's ethical and sustainable and I wanted to show it to you because I wanted to get your opinion and if you knew anything about it. So this is a triangle bathing suit. Triangle did send me this. It's their new um, bathing suit. I don't know what it's called, it, it will be linked, but I know that Triangle is made in China, which doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. You know, a lot of Everlane stuff is made in China as well, but I have, they didn't, they're not transparent at all about where their stuff is made. Um, 
So if you have any information on that, I'd love to know. I just wanted to show you because I, I've showed these bathing suits before and they have changed the booby area, made it a lot longer because I feel like my boobs are kind of pouring out of them before. So this is a lot bigger and easier to keep your, your boobs in place. This is just their white new bathing suit. If you have any information on a triangle, where it's made and how it's made, I'd love to hear. So comment that down below. And then some things that I don't have, but I've done some research and I think are pretty cool companies. One is called Naja, and it's an underwear, uh, ethical and sustainable underwear company. And what I really liked with them, what really caught my eye is they have nudes for every skin tone where I feel like, you know, if you go to Victoria's Secret, they have one nude and it's for kind of tanned white people. But Naja really has a variety of different nudes for a variety of different skin tones, which I just found really amazing. Um, and they're ethical and single. They have some more lacy stuff. They have a bunch of different stuff, but I think you should check them out because they're really cool. And then there was another company that's called ARC. It will be linked down below. I'm pretty sure it's called ARC. And they kind of take away all the research and kind of have like a boutique that just has ethical and sustainable items um, to shop consciously. So you can go through and shop there knowing that you're shopping well. So I'll link that one down below as well. Yeah, that's it for my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave your comments down below on what are your favorite uh, ethical or sustainable clothing companies. I'd love to check them out and in my next haul feature them. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and click that little bell to be notified because the YouTube algorithm is all messed up and you may not see my videos. So the bell will just help you be notified and remember to follow me on Instagram. Um, that's where I kind of feel like I can connect with you the most because I do answer DMs and I post stories a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace and love. Love you all. Bye.